Hi, Mark Gordon on Sunday, December 11th, 2011 with your Gold Silver Spider Report. And uh, we're looking here at the GLD weekly. And we can see we're sitting right here on this blue line, the 10-week moving average. And um, just under here, this uh, green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average. So um, came down here several weeks ago, did not uh, get near the lower trend line like we did back here in September. Uh, but we did come up here and test the upper trend line here in early November, pulled back, and now we're sitting just above this 10-week moving average, which is in an uptrend. So um, gold uh, still in a weekly uptrend here that it's been in now for uh, over a year and a half. Uh, we lost 2% on the week. Um, uh, volume was uh, below average. And looking at a daily chart of the GLD, we're still in this wedging formation here. And you'll notice that, that it's tightening up here, which is a good sign. Um, uh, you know, the highs are, are, are lower and the uh, lows are higher. So we're just wedging on up here to a point of resolution. We're either going to break to the upside or downside here. Um, volume has been light uh, for the last several weeks. Good sign as gold consolidates. Now we came up here and tested this upper trend line and then pulled back this week and got support here at this blue line which is the 50 day moving average and we're sitting above that uh, still and we're getting support down here. The 50 day is turning up now and we also have established a lower trend line here and we have a longer term lower trend line uh, that is still in effect just below that. So lots of support here for uh, gold as it consolidates in a sideways pattern. So if the GLD does challenge this upper trend line again and break through, our next point of resistance will be at this upper gray area, which is the Bollinger Band. And that currently is at 174.30, 174.30. So uh, worth keeping an eye on here as to which way uh, uh, the GLD is going to resolve itself. And moving on to silver now, we can see another wedging pattern here. Sideways consolidation, mostly light volume down here. Uh, good action here. Um, we are below the 50-day moving average here, this blue line. And we're also below this red line, which is the 21-day um, uh, moving average. And um, But we have established an upper trend line and a lower trend line here um, that's been in place for about two months. So uh, this is tightening up as well. We're going to have a point of resolution on silver as well. Now I don't like this chart as well because uh, we are sitting under the 50 day moving average and we are also under these key moving averages here. The 100 day, the green dotted line, and the 200 day which is the black dotted line. So uh, this is a, a more of a sign of weakness in the chart when you're below these key lines. And uh, also with the fact that the 100 day is pointing down and uh, the, uh, the uh, 21 day is about to cross the 50 day uh, to the downside, which is a bit of a negative. But all in all, we are in a sideways pattern here on relatively light volume. So silver looks like it's heading to a point of resolution as well. Now, if we do break to the upside uh, of this uh, upper trend line here, the next stop will be the Bollinger Band here, uh, which is currently at uh, 30, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting a read here, 33.65, 33.65. That will be our next point of overhead resistance should we break through to the upside. And looking at a weekly chart of silver, down uh, one point, uh, just a little over 1% on the SLV. You can see that we are uh, in this wedging pattern here on a weekly basis. Um, uh, Kind of poked through a little bit here, but uh, uh, closed under it uh, uh, for the last uh, several weeks here. And you can see that we're below these key moving averages, the 40 and the 20 week moving average. And you can see the 10 week, the blue line starting to point up, good sign there. Uh, volume has been uh, uh, just a little bit below average here. So a uh, consolidation pattern here uh, for the last several months for silver. And moving on to stocks now, this is the uh, SPY, the S&P 500 exchange traded fund. And you can see that we had this big sell-off here several weeks ago in, in late uh, uh, mid to late November. And then bounced off here and uh, came up and challenged this upper trend line here. And we've been challenging it all week. And um, uh, we uh, uh, have not closed above it. We did poke through a little bit here, but uh, pulled back. And you can see this black dotted line. This is the 200-day moving average. And we closed just above that on Friday. 
and uh, came down here, got support at this this gray line here, which is the 10-day moving average, and just above the red line, the 21-day moving average. So basically, uh, trying to digest this big move up off the bottom here uh, and, uh, and establish a, a, a sideways action here and maybe make an attempt to uh, bust out. It is uh, uh, poking up at the top of the roof here and we'll see what happens. Our next point of resistance, overhead resistance, will be at about $130 on the SPY, this upper gray area of the Bollinger Band. Now, should we start breaking to the downside, we have plenty of support here at the red line, the 21 day, and then right here at the blue line, the 50 day moving average, and just below that, the, the green dotted line, the 100 day moving average, and then just below that, the lower trend line. So lots of support down here to keep us above the $120 range should we get uh, more of a pullback here. So just like the gold and silver um, ETFs, uh, uh, stocks are trying to um, uh, break out of a flag formation and uh, uh, basically moving sideways here, digesting previous moves. And a positive on the SPY is this blue line, the 50-day moving average, has now crossed back over the 100-day moving average. Um, that should bring more uh, buying interest in, uh, in stocks. Uh, a lot of traders look at these moving averages and how they cross each other. So that's a, a very bullish sign there. And uh, we do have the 50-day moving average in a nice uh, upward move here. So that's it. It should be an inter interesting week this week, and uh, we may see some resolution uh, and uh, establish a new uh, uh, trend pattern uh, in, uh, in the uh, gold, silver, and possibly stocks.